Hi there. So many people are not aware that diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, uh, is directly related to what they eat. What they eat, the amount of food that they eat, and the time that they eat, the late night eating. So many people, they were diagnosed with diabetes and their physician put, put them on pills, okay? And they think that's the answer. It really isn't. It really isn't the answer. The answer is food and nutrition. I have a young friend who is morbidly obese, morbidly obese, wearing a, a, <laughs> a 4X clothes, young, under 40, and was recently diagnosed by the physician with diabetes. Uh, I was told that her um, fasting sugar was close to 200 and her hemoglobin A1C was over 6 and that kind of stuff. And, you know, even if they didn't do those lab values, 4X clothes, morbidly obese is a recipe for disaster. So what did the physician do? They gave her Ozempic injection, which according to her, has cut her appetite to almost nil. Now, I've been encouraging this, this individual to get my books for, I mean, I started writing health and wellness books since 2020, and they are packed with all kind of great information as to how one can reverse uh, lifestyle related diseases like I did. I've been encouraging that person to get my books. I've been encouraging that person to change the way they eat, to start walking 20 minutes a day, you know, take better care of themselves. And yes, they did try and they lost 10 pounds initially and then uh, over the holidays, regain double the amount, which that's no reason to give up. You just keep resetting and, and trying again. But the doctor ordered Ozempic. I was told, she said, she has no appetite. She'll start <laughs> eating a half a sandwich and halfway through she's full. So she has rapidly lost another 10 pounds and is excited about changing her diet. She tells me she's having salads and fruits. She's cut out sodas, whereas she was having three, four sodas a day. She's cut out juice, doesn't eat rice anymore. All those healthy way of eating, you know what I mean? All those healthy way of eating um, is what she's doing now, along with the Ozempic. Now, I'm not telling her she shouldn't take what her doctor prescribed. That's not the answer. But what I said, my friend, well, what if you just change the way you eat, period, and start eating those healthy things that you mentioned, the fruits, the vegetables, cut out the fr French fries and the tacos and all those unhealthy things. What, what if you do that? What if you just did that? And what if you start walking 20 to 30 minutes a day since you live on an acre or so of land? What if you did that? What if you started drinking? What if you continued drinking water instead of sodas? What if? Do you think you would get the same results? And she said, to think of it, yeah. Because that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And that's why I have lost the weight. 
is medication drugs the answer my friends is drugs the answer to hypertension hypertensive drugs doesn't reverse hypertension doesn't get rid of hypertension just mask and make the number looks look right cholesterol drugs does it really work does it really work diabetes drug does it really work or is it masking the number so it looks good while diabetes ravages our body or kidneys or heart or brain recently i read that dementia and alzheimer's is called type 3 diabetes that dementia and alzheimer's is directly linked to insulin resistance which is directly linked to us eating too much processed foods including processed carbohydrates like the breads and the white rice and the cookies and the crackers and the french fries and those things i challenge you whatever ails you whether it's hypertension whether it's diabetes, whether it's high cholesterol, whether it's fatty liver, whether it's kidney disease, whether it's heart disease, whether it's obesity, overweight, whatever ails you, whether it's arthritis, chronic headaches, irritable bowel, gastric reflux, whatever ails you, I challenge you to look at your diet. I challenge you to evaluate what you're putting in your mouth every day. Is that food healing you or is it harming you? Is it killing you or is it sustaining life and health? Think about that. You can implement some simple strategies each day so that you can take back your health, so you can preserve your health. They're simple, they're not difficult, and it's not a lot. Include more vegetables in your diet every day. Include more fruits, nuts, healthy grains. Eat less of that processed food, less sugar, less soda, less so-called juice, less French fries, less fried foods, less meats, less processed meats. Cut out the night eating, eat less food. Start moving. Lower your stress level. Get outside and enjoy the sunlight and the fresh air. Try it for 90 days and you'll see a vast difference in the way you look and the way you feel and those health issues that have been plaguing you, you'll see them disappearing one by one you will lose the weight and keep it off for good you will feel better about yourself the way you look and your doctor will be very pleased think about that this is marva riley i am on all social media platforms instagram facebook TikTok, youtube where i am always giving simple tips to help you to live a long and healthy life. Simple tips to help you to lose the weight and keep it off for good. Simple tips to help you to take back your health and live again. You can also visit my website rnmarvariley.com. I have many simple, healthy, easy, and delicious recipes to help you to succeed on your health journey. And I've written four health and wellness books that are available on Amazon to help you on your health journey, to help you to become and to remain the healthiest version of yourself.